right there. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good. I'm Rhett Larson. I'm the strength and conditioning coach for the team. My job is to have all of our athletes able to play at their highest level when it's most important for us. And it's just fun to be part of a team that has a really kind of this incredible spirit to, in the US we'd say, punch above their weight class, to, to take down some of the bigger countries. And, and the fact that we are this close makes it really, really exciting to be here. And the girls are great. The, the athletes are so much fun to work with. I think in my old age, I'm getting to really value how much I love to laugh at work. That's the best for me. I think in any sport as physical as volleyball, those aspects of being able to jump really high and, and run fast and have that kind of robust resiliency against little nagging injuries is super important. Every single girl on our team needs to be able to play at competition. It's not easy to do because we train really hard. If you see all of our girls on the bench, I'm going to be in the stands smiling because that's at least a big part of my contribution. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. When I start programming for a volleyball team in general, very quickly that 100% program becomes about 60% of each girl's individual program as I start using 40% to solve an individual weakness on every girl. And that's the metric that I'm looking at as I start building these girls towards the Olympics. I'm looking to see that, that weakness is getting stronger. And I found that if I can just pick on that weakness, then I can make sure that the girls are all on the bench at those major competitions. My goal is that when we get to any major competition, that every girl feels like she's in the best shape of her life. And notice that I said, feels like, because it is impossible for me to make sure that every athlete peaks at the exact same moment. If, if it were that easy, every athlete would run their fastest time at every Olympics. But it's not difficult to make everyone think that they are in the best shape of their lives. And by me overemphasizing the every little achievement we make in the weight room and not freaking out about when the girls maybe take a dip sometimes, I get to control a lot of their mental toughness and their mental confidence going into competitions. Team success can be misleading. So can team failure. I'm always very focused. If you see me at a game, I have a notepad out because I'm writing down little successes that the girls had and things that I can go down and give a specific example of a Libro that gave a gorgeous back set that no one saw coming. I want to quickly turn the narrative in their head from we just lost this game as a team to I did some great stuff during that game that I should build on in the next couple weeks. One of the things that I love about my job is that it continually shifts as an industry. That it's not just as simple as well let's just make everybody stronger in these basic lifts and everything else works out. There's new technology now that we use that helps make the down part of an exercise harder. We use flywheel technology that when they pull the flywheel up, it starts spinning a really heavy wheel and that then rips them down to the earth. Well, all of that helps their muscles come together faster, makes them more agile, makes them better at landing after they take these huge jumps. None of this tech existed a long time ago, and a lot of hardly anyone even uses it now. For me, the way I can continually renew myself and the way I come in excited every week to lift with the girls is because I'm constantly thinking of new ways that I can tweak all those little puzzles that are these girls, new variables I can throw in that might be the thing that solves their biggest weakness. And that gets me fired up. And so I take a lot of pride in making sure I'm on the cutting edge of that stuff because I never want to be beaten by a team because their strength coach is better than I am. When we're looking at the big picture of all this, of course it's the Olympics, 2020, Tokyo. That is everything we're working towards. I usually force my brain to take steps back. Next competition, next competition, next competition because that is where I'm doing my best work, is reacting to what the coaches are telling me, reacting to what we see as the biggest need for the team right now, fixing that, and once we start getting kind of that flywheel of momentum going, then that carries me to Tokyo.